What is up, guys? Long time no see with the, the car stuff, but I'm here today with the Mustang, and I'm going to try and get her idling for the first time. I've started it and stuff, but it's only been on as long as you've seen the video, maybe like 10 seconds, 20 seconds or so. But I had a fixed coolant leak, a massive coolant leak that I had, the um, oil filter housing the oil filter housing has the oil filter on it, obviously, and it has the upper radiator hose. I'm sorry, the lower radiator hose it has. Um, and yeah, the gasket that I got from the store didn't fit. Well, it fit, but it leaked at the top. It's weird. But I, to do what I want to do today, I need to finish the fuel lines, which is just a uh, return line, I believe, and then tighten all of the fittings wire up the fans, wire up the fuel pump, and plug a couple things in under the dash, and I'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna start doing that stuff, and hopefully get it running tonight. All right, so I have some butt connectors and other, some wire and stuff. I already pre-wired these, probably can't see it. I just need a positive and a negative, so my grounds are all over here. If you could even see that, I'm not sure. But I had to run a power wire all the way back to the you know, I'm just going to run the fans off the fuse box for right now. No point in me doing it on a switch just for this. Okay, I guess I have to wire the fuel pump now as well. So everything's just gonna be directly wired for the moment until I am sure that the engine runs correctly. And then I'm going to wire everything to switch a switchboard in the car and when I wire up everything. So moving on to the fuel pump. All right, so I tightened all the fuel lines. I had a couple leaks, but that was to be expected. Now I am wiring up a starter switch just for the time being because for some odd reason I don't have a starter signal <laughs> so on the key so I'm gonna just use a switch it's gonna be a switch on it anyway so yeah I'm just gonna run it like this for right now just a quick little one I'm gonna make nothing spectacular I want to crank it over before I give it any more fuel just to see if any of this is going to even work. I doubt it's going to even have enough power in the battery to uh, crank over, but I guess we'll find out. So yeah, just a basic little start button. Hold it. Yeah. I don't have power now, but confirm that real quick here by going like this. Great, so I don't have power in the car. Let me figure this out quick now. All right, I think I'm about ready to start it, actually. Um, so, I'm gonna turn the key. There might be fuel in it still, I don't know. But, I'm gonna see what happens. All right, let's see what happens here. Well, definitely started, almost. So I gotta turn the uh, fuel pumps on now, I think, and then she'll be ready to go. That's the scariest part, because I made these lines. And it's a real, real scary thing, because I never made fuel lines before. There we go. All right, let's uh, do a start. Of course. Ready? Sounds much, much, much more healthy with all of those uh, vacuum leaks fixed up. I have a little one in the front here, but I'm all right with that. <laughs> well, um, I got it to start, 
but it won't hold an idle, and I'm not entirely sure why. All signs on the internet claim that it's an IAC, but I don't know because when I unplug it, it shuts right off. But it's like when it gets down to where it wants to idle, it just dies. So uh, I have to do a little bit of diagnosis on this one. I have fuel pump codes, but obviously there's no fuel pump in the system because it's external pump and it's not wired into the car. I don't know if that's the problem, but that's it for today. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.